Okay, we're given, uh, we've seen this preceding video, but uh, just a quick summary uh, about matrices, linear combinations of vectors. We've got three vectors here, and we form a linear combination. We just pick three numbers, in this case, 3, 2, negative 4, could be any three numbers, and we form a linear combination, a sum of multiples of the vectors. <coughs> that linear combination can be represented by a matrix times a column vector, where the column vector is the three numbers that we chose to form the linear combination, and the columns of the matrix are the three vectors. Thus, first vector is multiplied by three. First vector is two, one, it's multiplied by three. Well, when we multiply the first row by the column, we multiply the two by the three. When we multiply the second row, by the column, we multiply the 1 by the 3. Similarly, the negative 3 and 2 will get multiplied by 2, and negative 4 will multiply the vector 4, 5. We write out the sum, don't have to read that to you, um, and do the calculation, and we get the result. Um, now, of course, we could have added these up by simply multiplying 3 by 2, 1, 2 by 3, and so forth. Uh, 3 times a 2, 1 is 6, 3, and so forth. We get the three multiples, and we add those, and we get the result, and it checks with the result of the matrix calculation. So it should be clear that the matrix calculation works, but you really want to understand why the matrix calculation works. Generalizing this, if we call the vectors v1, v2, and v3, and the multiples uh, well, the multipliers C1, C2, and C3, instead of specific numbers, just to make this general, uh, at least a general linear combination of three vectors, then the linear combination is going to look like this. The sum of multiples will always look like this if you have three vectors, V1, V2, and V3. Uh, now, the column vectors. Well, V1 goes in the first column, V2 in the second column, V3 in the third column. Now this notation denotes that. V1 is the first column, V2 is the second column, V3 is the third column, just as V1, V2, and V3 here form the three columns. Then this matrix product equals C1, V1, plus C2, V2, plus C3, V3. And now it doesn't matter how long these vectors are. Okay? These vectors are in R2. If we want to do three vectors in R3, the same symbol, the same expression gives us that linear combination. The longer the columns, the more rows you're going to have. And the more rows you have, well, you accommodate higher and higher dimension of the vectors. Okay, well, let's just demonstrate that, at least convince ourselves that it's true, for three vectors in R3. Now, of the three vectors, well, you see them here. We're going to do C1, V1, plus C2, V2, plus C3, V3. That's going to equal, well, if we follow our pattern from before, That should equal this. Well, let's write it out. And uh, turn things up here just a little. Okay. If I write this matrix it's going to look like this. Where again, here's V1 V2, V3, multiply that by C1, C2, C3, well, you know, I can pick three numbers, okay, just to demonstrate, um, actually I'm not going to pick three numbers, I'm just going to use C1, C2, C3. This equals what? 3C1 
plus 2c2 minus 5c3 7c1 plus 9c2 plus 6c3 4c1 minus c2 plus 2c3 The sum could be written as 3c1, 7c2, 4c1, and that's 7c1, not 7c2, plus 2c2, 9c2, negative c2, and then negative 5c2. 6 C, that's C3, not C2. Uh, let's make that legible. Okay, negative 5, C3, 6 C3, 2 C3, and that's plus, not equals. Okay, so, you know, clearly this plus this plus this, uh, numbers in the first row, 3C1, 2C2, negative 5C3 match the calculation in the first row, and similarly with the second and third rows. And I'm wanting to use this space over here, but it's not going to work. Okay. So now we factor the C1 out of this matrix and we get 3, 7, 4. Which is your linear combination of the three vectors. So this is your C1. v1 plus c2 v2 plus c3 v3. Now if you do c1 times v1 you get c1 times v1. Similarly this is v2 so this is c2 v2. This is v3 here c3 v3. It should declare that this is going to work no matter what your dimension is. If you get 78 numbers in each column. Of course they all have to have the same number of rows. All the columns have to have the same number. Well they have to have the same length or you can't talk about adding them. Uh, so if you have 78 numbers in these columns, I'm not going to write that out. Uh, I just did it in my head. Yeah. Well you don't want to believe that and you shouldn't. Okay, but you can visualize that very easily. Uh, if you can't write one out where you got four numbers in the columns. Just write out this expression, and of course you're going to have to have four. Well, C1, V1, C2, V2, C3, V3, and a C4, V4. I'm sorry. No, if you've got, you know, forget it. Forget I said that. Uh, you've got three vectors. You can write out three vectors of length 4 and do C1V1 plus C2V2 plus C3V3 the same way I've done it here. When you do that, V1, V2, and V3 are all going to have length 4, so your matrix is going to be 4 by 3. It'll still multiply C1, C2, C3 because you're only adding three vectors. But you're going to have four rows. And everything is going to work out the same, except you're going to have an additional row. It's going to take a little longer to write it down. Now, if I wanted to do a linear combination of four vectors, let's just take a quick look at what that might uh, look like. Um, if you add a fourth vector, I uh, have to write this pretty small, but let's see if I can do it. We'll use the same three vectors. And I never do leave myself enough space. 
that I'll get something in here. Let's just cheat and do one, one, one. Okay, so now we've got four vectors. So C1 V1 plus C2 V2 plus C3 V3 plus C4 V4 would equal, now I'm not going to write out uh, this part of the expression, but I can leave you to verify that, but the matrix is then going to have to be um, 3, 2, negative 5, 1. Well, let's just go ahead and put the vectors in columns. Okay, there are three, four vectors are now in columns. And of course, then we have to have a C1, C2, C3, C4. And you can do the multiplication, vector multiplication. You can factor out the C1, C2, C3, and now C4, and get a similar expression and convince yourself that this really is the case. Now, this is very important construction here, very important insight. Uh, if you understand this, it opens lots of doors, makes a lot of things possible, uh, and, and, and uh, if you understand it well, it makes them much easier. So you really want to understand this notation.